Welcome back. I'm Emily at Emily's Podcast, Tribute to All Little Angels. Episode 6 of Descriptions of the Pictures. We will start again with June 7, 2023. This first picture is a full view of Megan's area. The second picture is taken from the north to the south of the electrical pole in Baby Land 6 West area. The third picture is taken more from the south angle to the north. In this fourth picture, the Baby Land 6 West sign shows standing east of the tree water puddles laying on the ground and in the grass. The fifth picture is the area where we laid Megan to rest. There are no flowers at this time because of all the standing water that lays out here for days at a time. We have to wait until it dries up. The sixth picture is of the little girl that is at rest by the south tree. The rock headstone is hidden in the grass, but you can vision the hole in the grass where the rock headstone sits now. The seventh picture, there are a few headstones who has flowers on them. The next picture is of the small drain they put in in 2019, the baby land sign, the double headstones, the baby land six west sign, the existing tree known as the south tree. It can be proven. And all of the headstones to the left of the picture should be to the right of the existing tree. Come on, let's get this fixed for all the loved ones. And in the ninth picture shows standing water west of the existing tree. June 15, 2023. I start taking pictures as I pull up to Babyland 6 West. The third picture is a full view picture and it's showing standing water on the east side of the cemetery. There is also a close-up of the rock headstone, clearly visible now. Water is standing on the ground. There were 24 pictures taken today. June 18, 2023. On this day, there is a green orb in the first picture. The sun is setting and the sun rays glowing from the sun shines down into baby land six west the second picture is a green orb also the sun has moved the green orb is still in the same spot the third picture there is a green orb also the fourth to the eighth picture is of different angles looking at the area the ninth picture, the rays from the sun setting, is now pointing up instead of down to the ground. The green orb has moved in this picture. The next eight pictures shows ducks in the grass. And I love these kind of pictures. June 23rd, 2023. On this day as I visit the cemetery, it is puddled in areas. In the second picture, there is a green orb in Babyland 6 West. The third and fourth picture is also late located with a green orb, and the green orb locates itself in different areas in the different pictures. The fifth picture is of the full view. The eighth picture is of a close-up of Megan's resting place west of the tree and the baby land six west sign that has been there since the early 2000s the 11th picture is taken from the street from the small drain straight back west the pole the baby land pole west of the drain the double headstones west of the drain and the baby land sign Babyland 6 West sign is east of the tree. There are no flowers placed at Megan's area today. 
the green orb is at the southwest corner of the small drain concrete slab. The 12th picture is taken from the street, but taken of the south area between the tree and the electrical pole. The 13th picture is a full view taken from the north. The 14th picture is an up close of where the not all, but some headstones were washed down to. The 15th picture, the green orb is in this picture. The 16th picture also, although in this picture, the green orb has moved from the south of the small drain concrete slab to the north side of that concrete slab. The 17th picture, the green orb has now relocated in front east of the big brown headstone that sat to the north until 2015. The 18th picture, the green orb has yet again shifted. It has moved more north near the big drain in the grass. The drain that had been there since 1999 when we laid Megan to rest. The only drain that was in that area the big drain. The 19th picture, I pull further north on the road and I took a picture from the north to the south of Babyland. And as I described in other pictures, looking at this picture, there is no way, no way the existing tree is the north tree. There would have been no room between that north tree and the electrical pole for a south tree to set. There is no way. June 29, 2023. The first picture taken on this day is of the tree root pattern around the existing tree, in which to compare this picture taken on this day compared to the existing tree and to the picture taken in 2016. The second picture is of tire tracks to the new headstone that was set in in 2019. The third picture taken from the south to the existing tree. The fourth picture is an up close picture of the rock headstone and the headstone that sat southeast of the existing tree. Fifth picture is of the rock headstone. The sixth picture was taken from the east to the west. The seventh picture is of about 17 headstones north, west, and east of the rock headstone. The eighth picture, from the eighth picture to the 13th picture, it is pictures of Babyland 6th West area at different angles taken from the east. The 14th picture is another angle of the existing tree root pattern. The 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th picture are all of the different sides of the existing tree. And no matter what angle you view the tree from, the existing tree is the south tree. The 20th picture is a full view picture between the existing tree to the south, just past the electrical pole. 21st picture, looking from the east to the west into Babyland 6 West. The 22nd picture is taken from slightly the north, looking from the existing tree to the electrical pole. July 1st, 2023. The first picture is of Megan's flowers stuck in the ground at her resting place. The second picture is a up close picture from the top view of her flowers. The third picture is a picture taken from the south to the north showing headstones, Megan's flowers, and the existing tree. The fourth picture is an up close of the rock headstone and the headstone that sat southeast corner of the south tree. 
the lines around the rock headstone are still visible in the tall grass around both sides of the rock headstone. The fifth picture is an up close of the rock headstone. The sixth picture is taken from the east, looking west of the full view of Babyland 6 West. There is a green orb in this picture. In the seventh picture also, the green orb is shown and has shifted in location. The eighth picture, up close picture of the full view of the area, and there is a white with golden glow around it near the heart headstones. The ninth and tenth picture taken. In the ninth picture, there is no orb, but the tenth picture, there is a green orb. July 4th, 2023. I visit the cemetery this afternoon for the holiday. Happy Independence Day, angels. July 6, 2023. On this day, the green orb is in the first picture, not in the second or third picture, but in the fourth picture, the green orb is and in a different location. There were only four pictures taken on this day. July 14, 2023. I start taking pictures as I pull up to Megan's area. The second picture is a full view of Babyland 6 West, taken from the south. The third picture is an up close of the tree, Babyland 6 West sign, Megan's flowers, and some headstones surrounding that area. The fourth picture is taken from the east of the full view of Babyland 6 West. The fifth picture is of the view from the small drain to the baby land sign, the double headstones that sits in front of the existing tree now instead of between the north and the south tree. To the existing tree and the headstone surrounding this area. And the sixth picture is an up close of about 12, 13 headstones. The dark lines around the rock headstone is not visible due to the long grass. The rock headstone isn't even visible. The seventh and eighth picture is an up close picture of the rock headstone and the little girl that sat next to the south tree. Now I can visual the rock headstone. Ninth picture is of a full view picture of Megan's area. The 10th and 11th picture is a picture of the existing tree and the north area where the north tree sat at one time. July 26, 2023. There were eight pictures taken today. In the first picture, the green orb is back, but not the next seven pictures. July 30th, 2023. I took six pictures this afternoon, full view pictures, up close pictures of Megan's resting area, and a couple pictures of the existing tree and to the north of the area. August 6, 2023. This evening I visit the cemetery. The first picture has a green orb. The second picture, the green orb, is on the edge of my window of my car door. The next two pictures are full view pictures of Babyland 6 West. The next five pictures are taken in the same area from different angles. The tenth picture is north of the existing tree. It has a green orb in it also. Now, between this time of August 7, 2023 and August 26, 2023, I would visit the cemetery and for some reason my phone was not allowing me to take pictures at this time when I'd visit. But for some reason, on August 27, 2023, I was able to take eight pictures. It looks like there are tracks in the grass from the small drain setting north in the picture. 
I took another picture of the tracks from the small drain in Babyland 6 West to the next drain to the south. The fourth picture is of the area where Megan is laid to rest. The fifth picture is the rock headstone up close and the sixth picture too. The seventh picture is of a full view picture of Babyland 6 West. There is a green orb in this picture. The eighth picture is also the full view, but there is no green or any color orb. September 6, 2023. Today I came to the cemetery to find Megan's flowers gone. There were other flowers in the area, but for some reason hers were nowhere to be found. I don't like when that happens, but there has been a few times that it has happened. But I do appreciate when they do leave them there because that is her resting place and it can be proven. September 8, 2023. There is a green orb in this first picture. In the next eight pictures is from different areas in Baby Land 6 West. Up close pictures of the rock headstone and up close of where the indentation marks were found in the ground by a plot marker. And there is certainly no plot marker there. The next picture is of Megan's resting place. There is a couple flower buds laying in the grass. Her bouquet of flowers are not here. The past two times her flowers have come up missing. I have to wonder why. And of course, I replace the flowers shortly after they are gone. Megan deserves her flowers. There were nine pictures taken today. September 9, 2023. I replaced Megan's flowers today for the second time. September 10, 2023. I took 13 pictures this afternoon. Six of them are of Megan's flowers in the ground west of the existing tree. The first is of a picture is of a full view picture of the area. There were other pictures taken of the rock headstone. There is also a picture of the headstone where my niece found the plot marker indents in the grass. There is also a picture of some headstones north of where Megan's headstone was washed away, meaning these other headstones were also washed away south of where they belong. September 11, 2023. Today when I visit the cemetery, I took five pictures. The first one is full view of the area. The second picture is of Megan's flowers that looks like a dog or cat may have tore a flower up. I did put the flowers back together, what I could, and they are still pretty. In the third picture, that is what I seen. The fourth picture is a Babyland 6 West sign headstones that should be setting to the north of the existing tree. West of the tree are Megan's flowers. In the fifth picture, it is a close-up of the rock headstone. September 13, 2023. This afternoon, I visit the cemetery. The first picture is a full view of Babyland 6 West. The second picture I took was of the flowers around a Mother Mary statue. I see things like this and it's so pretty, but my heart aches knowing the headstone is here, but the loved ones are north of where the headstones are. The third picture is of Megan's flowers stuck in the ground west of the tree. The fourth picture is a wider view of the picture. The fifth picture is an up close of the baby land sign set in west of the small drain, east of Megan and the south tree. The sixth picture is of the big brown headstone washed away to the south 
It used to sit on the north corner of the east-west street. Now it sits on the south corner of the east-west street. In this picture, you can also see Megan's flowers and the headstones that should be moved to the north. And like I've said before, I can go on and on about my pictures, describing and telling everyone what the pictures are saying. I want to ask someone, anyone to listen to my story, take a look at the pictures, the video taken the day of November 26, 2019, the day Megan's headstone was dug up. Take a look at the overlay lay picture. The storyline lines up with it all. And next week, I will share with you about the Bible found in Megan's casket. Thank you for listening. Stay kind with your words.